First Alert Chief Meteorologist Scott Padgett, uh, you were out there earlier today. It was a lot of fun out there, and a lot of people seem to be excited about going over to the party. Yeah, the sixth one, everyone was really starting to show up, so there's a whole lot going on there, Ken. And, you know, and for the weekend, you know, thankfully all of the acts are inside in the air conditioning, and uh, it's definitely working. Uh, tomorrow, 98 degrees uh, for your Saturday, Sunday, a 20% chance of some scattered showers around under partly cloudy skies. We're back up to 100. So very close to the triple digit heat this weekend, the holiday weekend for us. Uh, so counting down though, here we go. So now we have started meteorological fall. Now the fall equinox is in 22 days, Halloween in 60 days, and Thanksgiving in 83 days. Mom, pumpkin pie. And an apple pie. All right, as we take a look, what's going on? Average temperature for the summer. Now that we are now in meteorological fall, you thought, hey, it was a really hot summer. We were the third hottest on record at 88.7 degrees. The average force, as far as rain was concerned, this summer only an inch and a quarter. That is from June 1st all the way uh, through August 31st. The average is 7.96 inches, 46 days in a row of no measurable rain for the summer, the fourth driest summer on record. So here's the holiday weekend. You saw that sneak peek of a couple of days. A uh, Monday for Labor Day, 100 degrees. Rain chances at 10%. So you're thinking of taking the boat out, but I want to show you the lake levels. And most of our area lakes are below pool stage uh, by a number of feet. Down by nine feet at Benbrook Lake to seven feet at Eagle Mountain Lake. Down by a little bit more than a foot in Lake Tawakini across North Texas. Same story. Lake Bridgeport now down by uh, 12 feet. And, and yeah more than 12 feet. So it's just uh, pretty bad as you're going to be heading out to the area lakes. Doesn't mean don't do so, but just keep that in mind. Where are we sitting right now? 87 degrees after we topped out at 98. Easterly winds near about 5 to 10. It, the dry air is in place. We're still sitting at 87 in Dallas, 83 in McKinney, 82 right now in Rockwall to 86 in Bridgeport, uh, 91 in Breckenridge to 87 in Graham. Uh, so we need the rain. And the first alert future cast shows, see that counter kind of counterclockwise flow? A weak area of low pressure is going to move overhead. So on Sunday, we could see some isolated showers, maybe a couple of storms pop up. I know it is the holiday weekend. You you don't want your plans to get rained out, but we'll take any rain we could get. I really would like it right over my house. Uh, we'll still see some spotty showers off and on through the day on Sunday. That, that all starts to dissipate a little bit more closer towards the Labor Day holiday. That's the low pressure I'm talking about as it pushes right overhead. So your first alert seven day forecast shows we're going to be seeing 100 on Labor Day, 101 on Tuesday. Ken, I know you love it. I heard you say it at four o'clock today. You love the triple digit heat. So here you go from Sunday all the way through Friday. We're up back up to 103. Yay me? Is that what That's I'm what supposed you said. to say? <laughs>